This T-Bird is on final at Craig Air Force Base practicing GCA landings. In the radar approach control room, its position is precisely monitored from nine miles out right to the instant of contact with the runway. A sudden change in wind direction means all aircraft will have to land from the opposite end of the runway. This is where a newly developed radar facility called SUSI, short for Lazy Susan, comes into use. The radar equipment is located near the runway center line. And by flipping a couple of switches, technicians can turn the equipment around 180 degrees in three and a half minutes. Within another 12 minutes, the necessary alignment and operational checks can be made. This means that SUSE, with a one plane per minute GCA capability, can shut down, turn around, and be back in business in just 15 minutes. The new GCA turntable will prove a valuable asset in handling high density traffic in all kinds of weather. This is a runway blanketed with foam, SOP for emergency landings in a wheels up condition. Firefighters at Kelly Air Force Base have added a pump system and a 450 gallon foam tank to a standard fuel truck and have come up with some amazing results. Two men can lay a uniform blanket one and three quarter inches thick, 22 feet wide, and 6,400 feet long in a little over six minutes. Ordinarily, the O-11 or similar major firefighting equipment is used to lay foam. However, to equal the two-man spreader in both time and effectiveness, it would take six O-11s and 24 men to do the same job. Devise new equipment and adapt the old to new purposes, a double-barreled formula which produces successful results in the United States Air Force.